How's it going, everyone? Um, my name is Roshan. Um, most of you know me uh, because of my book, Stolen Identity, uh, that tells the story of how I was sucked into the system uh, when I was 17 um, behind a female one year and four months younger than me, sneaking away from the house that I didn't know she snuck away. That ultimately uh, got me into a situation to where I signed a plea deal uh, to avoid 15 years in prison for touching a minor. Uh, my sentence was supposed to be uh, 36 months probation, 6 months ankle monitor, and 10 years to register. And when I got that plea deal that I signed and agreed to to avoid 15 years in prison, that was 20 years ago, 21 years ago, um, and I'm still on the registry, even though they said uh, 10 years. Uh, that's what my lawyer said. Um, and, you know, this case, it has bothered me in so many different ways, you know, like, I'm not even going to take the time to tell you about all the problems that I have or had or went through or experienced because of this statutory case with a female one year and four months younger than me <clears throat> because I made various videos uh, just taking you through my world in different areas and I know it's a lot but I want to share something with you today and well, I want to share a dream with you. Um, <clears throat> and this dream tripped me out, you know, and it's like this case just continuously haunts me. You know, it, the case, it continuously, like, it just won't let me go, you know, like, I never had sex with this female ever in life. Never. Not once. But yet, I'm charged for it. I accepted the plea deal. Expecting the plea deal that I signed to let me go after a certain time, but it won't. And it affects me mentally. It affects me physically. It affects me financially. You know, it affects who I am as an individual. At one point, for quite some time, throughout a certain time span, I didn't even know who I was because of this case. long-term effects, longevity of a case that I should not have, but yet I do. So I deal with it the best way I can. <clears throat> but last night, this morning, I had a dream. In my dream, I was uh, opening up a new restaurant. You know, um, everything was coming along just well, I thought. At least in my dream, you know, they was putting up the marquee and it was a nice building in a nice location where it was surrounded with other businesses. And the day that they finished putting my restaurant together, it was a parade-ish type of event where people were walking up and down the street, just being happy and merry experiencing other restaurants, talking, I'm mingling with people, letting them know about what's coming with my restaurant and why they should come visit my new restaurant. And it was a great night. And then I found myself walking down a little strip And while I was walking, it was something like an Amber Alert, but not. It was a news, breaking news uh, story that popped up on my phone. And it had all these different women. And the news were looking for these women. Now, again, this is just a dream. But the news, they are looking for these particular women. And I realized that one of the women that popped up on the news flash, I had just got finished speaking to. Like, I remembered this particular face 
And this particular person, we had been Facebook friends. And when I looked her up uh, from my Facebook account, uh, she wasn't there. She was no longer on my social media. And I checked her, looked her up from another social media account, and she popped up, but not from my account. So I only assumed that we weren't friends for some reason. And then I found out that this breaking news flash that was looking for all these different women were looking for these women for a back trace contact. But the back trace contact was not to notify these women that they may have, one of them may have been zero on a newly found virus or disease that could be spread to everybody uh, at this paradise type event that was in front of my restaurant that I just opened. <clears throat> but they were looking for these women to backtrace, to notify these women that they had just came in contact with a sex offender. Me. And then I was woke up from my dream by my woman and she said, hey, are you okay? You are sweating. I was having a nightmare. So I said all this to say, the long-term effects of a broken system <clears throat> could be very hard on the person affected. It's been over 20 years and I've been struggling from a case that was no crime. And yet, 20 years later, I'm still trying to figure out how to shake it. That nightmare was real. And I just want to stop the bad dreams. <clears throat>